Now we're given that f dash x is equal to 3x squared minus 3x to the half minus 7 and asked to find f of x. So first of all, knowing that f of x is the integral of f dash x, we can start by integrating. So let's just put down that f of x is equal to the integral with respect to x of 3x squared minus 3x to the half minus 7. Don't forget we've got several terms there so put that in brackets integrate with respect to x. Now in the usual way when we get terms like this all we do is just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power so we get 3x cubed add 1 to the power divide by that new power over 3. Come to the next term we get 3 add 1 to the power so x to the 1 and a half or better still 3 over 2 and then divide by that new power 3 over 2. When you have a constant the integral of a constant is just going to be to add an x to the end so we get minus 7x. Don't forget though you're going to have a constant of integration which I'm going to call plus c. Now let's tidy up each of these terms. So for the first term, the 3's cancel out. We get 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once. So we've just got x cubed. Now when we have this term, we've got 1 half into 3 goes twice. So we can write that then as minus 2x to the power 3 over 2. And then we've got the minus 7x plus that constant c. Now what we've got to do is work out what that constant c is. And we're told that the curve passes through the point 422. So that means that when x is 4, f of 4 is 22. So let's just put down here that given that f of 4 equals 22. So essentially when x is 4, we get 22. Um, so we can pass that into this, okay, so we can say that 22 equals, and we just substitute 4 through here, so we're going to have 4 cubed minus 2 times 4 to the power 3 over 2 minus 7 times 4 plus c. So we've got 22 equals, and here we've got 64 minus, now 4 to the power 3 over 2, that means we do the square root of 4 first of all because this 2 here, square root of 4 is 2, cubit is now 8, times it by the 2, so that's minus 16. Then we've got minus 28 plus that constant c. Clean this up on the right hand side, so we've got 64 takes 16 minus 28 comes to 20, so that's 20 plus c. Take away 20 from both sides and we see that c equals 2. So what is f of x then in its simplest form? So we can say that therefore f of x equals, and all we do is just go back up here, copy this out and replace the c with the 2. So we've got f of x equals x cubed minus 2x to the power 3 over 2 minus 7x plus the constant of integration which we now know is 2. And there you have it. Okay, so hope you've been able to follow that.